Hello, welcome back. I'm Andreas Chat, your tech curious web designer. In this video, we continue our Wagtail series and add a view count to the articles, as well as social media buttons to share the articles to Facebook and to X. But before we get started, a quick shout out to my new supporters on Patreon. A big thank you to Anand, Eduardo, Mr. Whitehead and Brian. I really appreciate you and welcome to my Patreon community. And if you like this content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. This helps me to grow this channel and to reach more aspiring web developers. Thank you so much. Okay, and now without further ado, let's dive in. So in this video, we add the view count here to this article page, as well as the Facebook and the X icon to share this article on social media. Okay, let's get started. First, we add a views property to the article page class. So I'm going to my plug folder, here to models.py. Here I'm going to my article page class. And I'm defining here the views property with a positive integer field, which stores only positive values. Default is zero and set editable to false. Then I'm adding here a method to simply increment the view count by one. And here when I'm calling self.save, I don't want to save the whole object, but only update the views field. This makes sure I don't unintendedly update a date time field on a property. And then I modify the surf method, which is called whenever a wagtail page is requested by the user. And in here I call the increment view count function. Alright, save this file. Now let's do the migrations. Python.py make migrations. And Python.py migrate. And run the server again. Okay, now let's add the view count to the template. So I'm going to my article page in the templates, article page.html. So here below the date, I add now the view count. And for this, I created a code snippet with an icon. And you can grab this code from my GitHub repository at github.com slash anyjud slash vectail. So here we're going to the articles view count snippet, copy the code, and add it in here. Here we have hard coded one as the view count. Now let's add it dynamically with page.views. And to display the views count nicer on the page and to position it next to the date, I've wrapped them in a flex container with the justify between class. Like that. Okay, save this file and let's check it out. Let's click on an article. And as we can see, the views count is now displayed with an icon. Nice. Nice. But whenever I refresh the page, this number is increasing, and that's not something we want to happen. We want to count unique visitors to this page, and for this we can use a session cookie. So I'm going back to the models.py file, and here in the surf method, I create here a session key, which includes the primary key of the user. Then we check if the session object has the session key set already, and if false, we call the increment view count function. And then add the session cookie and set the value to true. Okay, save this file. Let's check it out. I refresh the page. We increased now to five views, but now we have set a session cookie, and you should not call the function again. So we refresh again, and indeed, the number stopped increasing. Great! Now let's show the view count also here on the block page. 
So I'm going to my block page template. Then here underneath the date of the article, I add again this code snippet, but I change the color of the text because we have a dark background here. To text neutral 500. And here again I wrap the elements in a flex container to display them next to each other. OK, and then we add the views variable. And this time we also add the specific property, because we are looping here through the articles and don't access the page object directly. Alright, save this file and let's check it out. I refresh the page. And now we display the view count also on this page. Nice! Okay, next let's add the social media buttons to this article page, next to the views icon here. So I'm going back to the article page. I wrap my views count here first in a container. And change this one to span. And here above I add now the sharing links for Facebook and X, and you can grab the code snippet for them again from my GitHub repository. So here I'm going to the article social sharing snippet, and copy the code, and paste it in here. All right. So first here we have Facebook share a link and to this link we have to add now the absolute URL of the article page. And this is the request.build underscore absolute underscore URI. And the next one is for X or Twitter and also here we add the absolute URL. But on X this would just share the link. If you want to share the article title and intro as a text as well, we have to add it manually. We do this with end text, then page.title, here I'm adding the URL encode flag. This transforms a string so it can be used in a URL, encoding special characters and spaces. Then I add here space dash space as an encoded string and also add the page.intro. Now for this to work we also have to add some meta properties to the head of the page. So I'm going to my template folder, here.base.html, then here in the head. I check if this is an article page, then I add here the meta property for the type, which is article, the URL, here again I add the absolute URL, then we have the title, so page.title, we have a description, which in my case is page.intro, then we have the image with page.image.url, however this uses the original image we uploaded for the article. We should use instead an optimized version for social media sharing. We will look into that in a second. And finally we have the Twitter card, which tells Twitter or X how to display the image in a tweet. And here I want to display it as a large image in landscape format. Okay, so as I mentioned instead of .url, I will create now our image underscore URL object which is sharing the image in an optimized format for social media. Okay, save this file. Then let's go back to the models.py file. And I define here this method, which uses the wagtail function get underscore rendition to create an image in the format of 1200 by 675. This is the format recommended for social media. 
and I also can apply a quality filter. So add here the JPEG quality of 80. And to get the full URL, I just add .URL. And then I modify the get underscore context method and add the image underscore URL variable to the context where I call the function. All right, save this file and let's check it out. I refresh the page. Nice, we have now Facebook and X are social media links. However, to use the links and share the article, the website needs to be live on the internet, of course. So I will demonstrate it on a live site. Let's share this article on X. And here I see the preview of the tweet with the article image, link, title and intro text. Nice. And let's post it now. Great. And if I click it, we go back to the article page. Then we test with Facebook. And here is the preview of this post on Facebook. Nice. Alright, and this is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon not to miss the next one. I hope to see you there. Until then, stay curious my friends and bye bye for now.